this better be good. Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Thank you. I'll look these over and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. Fight well. It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. Did he now? Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? Something that men and Nair fought over? I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. Quite unlike anything we'd seen before. Aliad, Glemmer, Daedric, not even Farmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience. But can you feel that? This marvelous object, it practically radiates magicka. Archmage Aaron is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I must no, I... It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We are involved in serious research here. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time, when we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. Really? Well, allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Psijic Order here in the College. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you, specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. I'll be the one asking the questions. All you need to know is that the Psijic Order is a rogue organization, believing themselves to be above the law. They have clashed with the Old Mary Dominion before, and I have no intention of allowing that to happen here. encouraging to see the younger generation. The college will be here for you no matter what. We always look after our own. I can certainly share a bit of what I know. I said let's go, now. I have many important things on my mind. Find out why he's here, and what he wants.
Please what you do learn not be here alarmed. will last you a lifetime. I mean you no harm. Several, if you're talented. It is good to meet you in person. I'd simply like to talk to you. I've given us a chance to speak privately. But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance. And attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object, the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm all too aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. Nevertheless, my order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. As you may have learned, this object, the Eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the Order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. We believe that your efforts should be directed towards dealing with the aftermath, but we cannot predict what that will be. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my Order, but I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help. But this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. I'm sorry. Were you about to say something? I'm... I'm not sure what happened. A monk from the Sigic Order. Here after all these years and then... He just leaves. I hope we didn't offend him somehow. Beyond asking for you, he never said. Very strange indeed. Well, all right then. What is the meaning of this? It's no secret that the... Has Tolfdir been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here he is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this.
family? No, and I'm not expecting any. Really? That must be so nice. I came all the way to Skyrim just to get away from my family's expectations. My family didn't really approve of me coming here at all. Oh, well that's... awkward. Sorry to have brought it up. I need your help with something. Something private. No one's heard from the Physic Order in so many years. Hard to believe one would just suddenly show up here. I've never heard of anything like that. Did you ask Tolfdir? He's been here a long time and seems to know almost everything. I'd better get going. Restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I don't want to... You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? As a matter of fact, there are. Have you ever heard of Shalador? Immensely powerful mage, back in the First Era. Had an understanding of magic few have ever matched. He holed himself up in Labyrinthian, and devoted all his time to research and study, but more than you would imagine possible. Since then, his writings have been scattered all over Skyrim, but are little use to anyone who can't translate them. I'm one of the few who can. I've heard whispers of more of his work having turned up. If you can track it down, it may prove useful to all of us. Mm -hmm. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand? If there are any problems, let me know. That's nothing you need to concern yourself with. No more than anyone else, I don't think. They're a very old order, predated the Imperial Majors Guild by quite a bit. In fact, the Majors Guild was founded in opposition to the idea of the Sigic Order, that only an elite few should have control over magic. No one has seen or heard from them in over a hundred years now, though. Well, that depends on what you're looking for. Veralda can teach destruction spells, and offers training in that school. Finnis is one of the best conjurers in all of Skyrim, and can help with spells from that school. Don't let Tolfdir fool you. He's the preeminent scholar on alteration. One of the best in Tamriel, and always willing to pass on his knowledge. If you can find him and focus his attention, there's a great deal Drevis can teach you about illusion magic. And finally, there's Colette. She may be... 
difficult to get along with. She's very knowledgeable when it comes to restoration magic. Can you... can you possibly help Jazarko? What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. Mm -hmm. You are new, yes? Have you mastered the expert level destruction spells yet? Ah, this is good. But Gisargo will know them first. It is good to finally be around mages who may be able to keep up with Gisargo. Jezargo has seen that Torfdir likes you. You must be very skilled with magic, yes? Jezargo is working hard, but cannot do it alone. Can you help with this? Jezargo has worked hard on learning new spells, trying new things. This will make Jezargo stand out as a mage. But Jezargo works so hard, there is no time to test these new spells. If you help with the testing, this will make learning easier. Jezargo will give you scrolls. You will use them and report the results. This is a good plan, no? You tell Jezargo when you are ready. Ha! <laughs> you can resist, can you? Let's see. This one, I think. Jezargo has designed it to be an excellent flame cloak, with a twist. It is especially potent against the undead, and should burn them to a crisp in no time. Jezargo gives you plenty of these scrolls, so you try them and return when you can say whether they work. The what of what? No. No idea. If it is important, maybe Tofdir knows. He seems to know a lot. Jezargo awaits word of how well his scrolls work. I think the college is too good. If you're working on any experiments, please clean up after yourself. <coughs> if you have it's a moment, always... well now, you know there's a name I haven't heard in some time. My goodness, it's been years since I've spoken with him. I suppose he's still down in the midden, but I haven't checked. Are you going to see him? Do tell him hello for me, won't you? Underneath the college, it's not the nicest place, 
So if you go down there, please do be careful. Well, I suppose he wouldn't mind. It was all before my time, you understand. I've heard the stories, uh, the same as anyone else. He was a brilliant student, an accomplished wizard, delved into magic in a way none had seen before. But I think he became too focused on just how much power he could acquire. That's what led to the accident. Do you remember what I first told you? About how not being able to control magic could destroy you? I didn't simply mean it could kill you. The Augur's accident is another very real type of a life destroyed. Well, it's been described as an accident. I can't imagine it was intentional. Something must have gone wrong, and he ended up in the state he's in now, fused to the energies that flow through the college. I've never felt it appropriate to ask him about it, about how that must feel. But I suppose, if he can feel at all. Take care now. does a fine job as Master Wizard, I suppose. Still, there's always room for improvement.
perseverance will only lead to disappointment. Still, you persist. Very well. You may enter.
been seeking. Your efforts are in vain. It has already begun. Those who have sent you have not told you what they seek. What you seek. Indeed. And so you have come looking. Though, you do not know why. Like others before you, you blindly follow a path to your own destruction. The Thalmor came seeking answers as well, unaware they will be his undoing. Your path now follows his, though you will arrive too late. The one who calls himself Ancano. He seeks information about the Eye, but what he will find shall be quite different. His path will cross yours in time, but first you must find that which you need. You and those aiding you wish to know more about the Eye of Magnus. You wish to avoid the disaster of which you are not yet aware. To see through Magnus's eye without being blinded, you require his staff. Events now spiral quickly towards the inevitable center. So you must act with haste. Take this knowledge to your Archmage. What you're learning? It's no secret that the college is re Really? And what might that be? I'm sorry, what? Well, I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff, but I'm not really sure that any of us need it. And how do you know of this? Did you really? And he specifically mentioned the staff of Magnus? I... I'm impressed with your initiative. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. A most impressive attitude. Keep this up, and you'll do quite well for yourself. Something as specific and ancient as the Staff of Magnus. I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Mirabel mentioning the Staff somewhat recently. Why don't you see if she can tell you anything? I'm quite pleased with your progress, you know. You've certainly proven yourself to be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. This circlet once proved invaluable to me. I hope it can be of use to you now.
enchanting services are one of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest of Scott. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. Still no word from If there are any problems, let me... No. Well, now that's an odd question. Why in the world would you be asking? That must be so nice. I came all the way to Skyrim just to get away from I see. From well, yes, I suppose I did mention it. Though I'm not sure what he expects me to tell you. I only brought it to his attention a few months back when the Synod showed up here looking for it. They were apparently under the impression we were keeping it in a closet somewhere. Mages based out of Cyrodiil. They fancy themselves the Imperial Authority on Magic these last few hundred years. My understanding is that all they really do is make noise in an attempt to curry favor from the Emperor. Lots of politics, little magic. I was quite surprised to find them on our doorstep. They seemed amiable enough, but their line of questioning made me... uneasy. It became clear they're trying to hoard powerful artifacts, looking to consolidate power. No one here does. The Synod seemed convinced it was somewhere in Skyrim. They inquired about the ruins of Mizulft, but that's all I remember. It sounded like they were heading there, though they were rather secretive about why. I suppose if you're intent on looking for the staff, there's a chance they might be in Mazulft yet. Just don't expect them to be cooperative. Uh, let me give you a bit of advice. If you want to work on something that's not officially allowed, don't tell uh, anyone you're doing excuse it. Excuse me, Enther. You need might something you're not officially supposed to... What is it? Yes, uh, apologies for the intrusion. I was wondering uh, if you could possibly uh, procure a few select items for me. Really, Arniel? Because I seem to recall doing just that for you recently, at which point you assured me that you'd cover my expenses. And that, my nervous little friend, has not happened. Would you care to comment on that, perhaps? Uh, hmm. Yes, I... Uh... I was unaware that I had forgotten that. I will... Um, I mean, I'll take care of that as soon as possible. See that you do. I'm working on some... Even with the college's late... Shh, you. all right, let's, let's not overdo it. <clears throat> Meet me in my quarters. There are some ex- I hope you've got some coin. Well, let's just take a look then.
Jezargo continues to struggle with wards. You have time to practice? Maybe later. I'm sort of busy now. Jezargo. What? Stats. You hesitate because you know Jezargo will be better than you. Huh?